good, along with plenty bad. But ugly is something I simply never had. A fucking bronco never stops kicking. So while the clock's ticking, here's the thing about the wicked. If you lay them to rest. The Outer Worlds has been rated M by the ESRB for blood and gore, intense violence, and strong language. It is approved for mature players only. It's 2237, and the Far Stars War has begun. Isolated by the light years that lie between them and the Earth's established colonies, the pioneers on the outskirts of the galaxy suddenly face a merciless enemy, the Gwaren, an alien warrior race of unsurpassed cruelty. They are bent on the total destruction of every other spacefaring race that might challenge them for dominance. Before human and allied alien authorities can react, the Warren blast world after world into oblivion. From the terror-stricken response to the first deadly Guerin assaults through desperate battles to the terrible aftermath of total war, follow the League's space and marines forces as they challenge the enemy with high-tech weaponry and old-fashioned courage. The shared universe of the Far Stars War created by Bill Fawcett and David Drake showcases 10 stories by top military science fiction authors performing at their writing best. Get your copy from Amazon.com today. Hey kids, this is Jack. Welcome to the Outer Worlds. Now, those of you who've been with me since the beginning know that I tried to play the Outer Worlds earlier but it was a time when I was stupid and overloaded myself. I actually was trying to play 12 games a week, if you can believe it. Uh, like I said, it was stupid, it was ridiculous, and uh, I had to quit. But I always swore I'd come back to it, and here it is. Hope you enjoy. Do you have... Dehydrated water tablets. Okay, hibernation com complications detected, tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your, process, your brain processes time differently. Press the tactical, dilation, uh, tactical time dilation button. Slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as to take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly while moving and attacking. Drains it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. Q is the is the button. All right. Works. Did I just read that correctly? It said tarmac and cheese. Hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lock picking skill helps you with getting places you're not meant to be. Mag picks are there to break open locks. Bypass shunts are used to break computer systems. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you'll see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it'll take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. Makes sense. Found a new weapon. Weapon switch 
allows you to rotate between the weapons you have equipped on the inventory screen. Speaking of... Okay, TNL Weapon Safety Training. Weapon Management. You can have four weapons equipped at this time by dragging them into slots on the top of the screen. On this page, you can also inspect your weapons, comparing them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts. Players with engineering skill can repair weapons on this screen as well. Take care of your TNL weapons. They'll take care of your enemies. All right. Airmed ballistics will keep your skin intact. Armor management. Drag armor and helmet items to the equipment slots to wear them. You can also manage your armor here, break them down, inspect them, blah, blah. Okay, I've only got the single item. Consumables. Use junk or drop your consumables. Increase your medical skill to unlock more drug mixing slots. Okay. That's a Geno. That's basically health enhancer. Plus 200 natural health regeneration last two months. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and use that. Because why wouldn't I? Okay, modifications, general. We've got three of those left. Quests, junk. Okay, got it. There we go. Um, use these controls to attack and block. Most melee weapons can provide three swing combos. Okay, I get it. You see him? Right there? Where do you go? Well, I guess he died. Okay, this is basically all the same weapon. Hold on, I'm going to sneeze. I'm turning my mic off real quick. here before you get yourself killed. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gall on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Really? How is he? Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some.
seriously? But those marauders will... Ugh. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Gesture procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarded parties in five, four, three, Two, one. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged, and must be replaced. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High-capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new Captain's Identity Cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and Captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time.
Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. I suppose everything on the unreliable belongs to you now, Captain. Help yourself. No, really. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself, right before he died. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. It just occurred to me that I never turned on the microphone again after I sneezed. So here I am babbling about the game and you're hearing nothing but silence. Ironically, I have to turn the mic again uh, off again because I have to sneeze. So one second. All right, that's a little better. Okay, I didn't see a way to fix armor, so I guess that comes later, maybe. Huh. I'm going to save this for later. And that's it for this session of The Outer Worlds. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button. It does help me with the algorithm on YouTube. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single one of my videos. I'll see you next time for more Outer Worlds. Bye-bye. So perhaps you have simply forgot what you signed Oh, honestly Did you not read the colony policy That defined you as company property That wavered your say in autonomy the con